Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. I really appreciate you. And again, thank you for everybody who got me to 7,000 subscribers. I am so grateful. Um, the winners are Riri and I Want to Disappear. I've also posted that on the board, uh, on the community board. So um, please contact me. My email is both in the description and on the community tab post. I want to say thank you to everybody. Everybody that has helped me, who has been supporting me. Um, it's It's been wonderful and I'm so grateful. Um, that being said, my gorgeous and talented people, today's reading is about advice for the next seven days. We have pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Figure out which one feels right to you, and we will get started on that. I also want to remind you that I am doing readings. My turnaround time is around 48 hours right now, uh, but uh, I will not uh, try to get you to do a reading in the comments. Um, if you do want to do a reading with me, use the email in the description because I control the description and it'll keep you safe from people who are trying to potentially scam people. So my gorgeous and amazing darlings, it's time to move on to pile number one. And again, thank you all. I really, really appreciate all the support. I appreciate all of you people. All of you people, all of you wonderful and fabulous people who've been supporting me along the way. So my gorgeous and talented pile number one's advice for the next seven days. Advice for the next seven days. Ooh, there's going to be a need to um, create and maintain balance. The Empress, are you... I feel like for the most of you, you guys are doing a lot to be the best version of yourself. I think that you should know that you're doing a good job, but you do need to maintain balance. You are going to have clarity regarding something. You are going to have an ability to potentially have a new beginning for you to have some kind of victory. Ooh, the devil. Either you might have been dealing with an unhealthy cycle with someone, or you, uh, which some of you really have with the strength card, you're definitely going to be able to overcome that. Um, if it's not another person, you may be dealing with your own personal issues because none of us are perfect, but anything that has been a cycle that has kept you trapped, you are going to have the ability to overcome and you are going to have the ability to have some kind of new beginning with clarity. So it is just about maintaining your balance throughout all of this. Five of one. So I feel like uh, that they're either you're dealing with conflict regarding somebody that has been unhealthy. Again, there's a victory here. Um, but, or you are dealing with something that has been a cycle for yourself that you don't necessarily want to continue to have, which you're going to have an, you you definitely will have the strength to overcome it. There will be an ability for you to have a brand new beginning to cut yourself out of any kind of these situations. Clarity on the devil. Queen of hearts. So with the queen of hearts, that's the queen of cups. That is my emotional queen, but it's also an emotionally intelligent queen. She does feel emotion strongly, and again, whatever your gender is, um, it's just coming up like this. This is just the energy. It's not necessarily the gender. So the Queen of Hearts is very heart-focused, very loving, very focused on their feelings and the feelings of others. 
But the Queen of Hearts is also somebody who is emotionally mature and emotionally intelligent. And I feel like, you know, dealing with those emotions in an emotionally intelligent way is going to help you leave behind something that is unhealthy for you, whether it is a person, whether it is a cycle that goes on within you, just anything that isn't serving you, you're going to have this real chance to make some kind of new beginning and to have real clarity. But just maintain your balance while doing that. Advice in the next seven days. Advice for the next seven days. Seven. I feel like you need to stand up for what you know is right. Yeah. Because you're, again, Empress the second time. The Empress uh, can be the mother. It's, it's all queens put together. So it's really somebody who's incredibly put together. Somebody who attracts in a lot of wealth and abundance. Uh, somebody that is just really attractive. Um, so I feel like you do need to... There's going to be an ability to win. There's going to be an ability to be clear. Um, there's there's a need for you to stand up and, f you know, fight for what you think is right, but it's only leading you to be the best version of yourself. With the fool, now the fool and the devil are kind of opposite energies because the devil is extremely restrictive, whereas the Fool is free. Uh, the fool is somebody that's at the beginning of a brand new chapter. They may not know how that chapter will go, but they are as unencumbered as they can possibly be. So if you're dealing with something, uh, you will have an ability to unencumber yourself. You'll have an, an ability to have a new start. And that start is leading you to this higher, uh, more put together, more content and happy person. Advice for the next seven days. Um, there may be a lot of communication. There may be a lot of things going on. Uh, but again, I feel like you're going to emotionally walk away from something that doesn't fulfill you, whether it is external to yourself or whether it is internal to yourself. But you're going to have the ability to walk away from that, and that is going to really boost things in your life. It's going to make things move forward for you. And it's going to lead to a steady new beginning. A new beginning where there's clarity, truth, honesty, respect, I also heard, um, with the fool, an ability to unencumber yourself. So I, I feel like you're getting an opportunity at a, at a brand new beginning and being this amazing, evolved, together version of self. Advice for the next seven days. Two of Wands. You do have choices to make on how you move forward. And while you while being emotionally mature will help, you know, you move away from what is unhealthy. Um there is a chance that you could fall into emotional immaturity, and that will put you back into the same cycle. So there's a reason why this balance is important. There's a reason why the choices that you make are more important. Because if you, it's whether, it's not about not feeling emotions. You can still be a very emotional person, but you can also recognize when something is not healthy for you versus letting your emotions control you and bringing you back to something that, you know, Maybe feels pleasurable, but doesn't fulfill you in any way. It 
So keep in mind, like uh, the, with the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, it is your decision about how you move forward. With the Five of Cups, I think that it's not particularly going to be helpful for you to be preoccupied in, you know, you can pre be preoccupied with everything that has gone wrong and, you know, you can focus your energy there. But I feel like you do need to be aware that there are, you know, other better choices that you can make. And focusing on, if you just focus on what's, you know, a kind of a woe is me energy. And don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean that nothing serious hasn't or, or something really hurtful hasn't happened to you. This is not about whether you deserve to have your feelings. This is not turning away from your feelings, but this is about maturely dealing with your feelings. Uh, because there is something that you need to walk away from that you might be conflicted regarding. But you will have the ability to have clarity. I feel like deep down you know what you're fighting, but sometimes it might feel comforting. Sometimes, so I feel like that's why it's important for you to stay balanced, for you to realize that you're making the choices in your life. And realize that even though you may not be mentally clear all the time, on some level you you know uh, on some level you know what kind of future you want to have. So you can focus on you know, maybe putting energy in what has not been unhealthy uh, that has fallen over. Or there there are new opportunities here with that Two of Cups. So you have this real ability right now to be, be the Empress or fall into or fall into negative cycles because Empress, Empress. Devil, devil. And this is a choice card. This is a choice card. This is a choice card. And this is about perspective. It's like, I feel like you need to be paying attention to what you're holding on to. Clarity, advice for the next seven days. We were made to love, so get good at it. And the Empress is somebody that is very loving, um, but the Empress is somebody that also can set boundaries. She's that Queen of Hearts, that Queen of Swords, that Queen of Pentacles, and that Queen of Wands. And again, whatever gender you are, it's, it's, this just represents somebody that has every aspect of their life handled. So just know that you have that ability to have that. And, you know, keep in mind, like, if you are, are holding on to people who aren't good at loving you, are you focusing on the right thing? We don't know what the person, uh, you don't know what the next person <laughs> I can't read right now. You don't know what the person next to you is dealing with or has endured. Think of that before you compare or judge. So it is about I mean that is about not being too judgmental but I also think that you need to be not too judgmental regarding yourself especially if you are trying to overcome things. You know, you may be, this at some point may have been a coping mechanism for you to get one moment further on your journey. It may not be something that is healthy for you anymore. 
and you know even if even if this represents a person or you know it, it may be you know anything that has become unhealthful for you it doesn't mean that you need to think ill but it's about re perhaps releasing yourself from that cycle new chapter and that's because you know new chapters new chapters new beginnings so if you balance yourself if you make choices to move forward things are not only going to move forward fast and with a lot of energy they're going to be moving in the right direction with you being the best version of yourself and you releasing what's not particularly serving you And it doesn't mean that you have to think ill of the person, place, thing that no longer fulfills you. Uh, but you still may need to emotionally walk away. Uh, I've got fear. And the devil can also represent fear. So you, you might be staying in some kind of situation because of fear. So I feel like you do need to consider your fear and you need to consider your own responsibility. This is not to say that you are responsible for other people because un you, you simply just don't have that much control over other people because they do have free will in and of themselves. But what you do have is control over self. You don't necessarily control everything that happens to you because we are in a big system with a lot of people with free will. But what we get to choose what we do about things. We need, get to make our choices and we do have to be responsible for our choices. And we can have clear choices. We can have clarity. We can have this best version of ourselves but to do that we have to be aware that we're the ones choosing that yes there are things that might you know things places people that might limit us but ultimately we can overcome so again ace of pentacles a second time brand new beginning brand new steady stable new beginning um but i feel like for most of you you're being asked to be your own hero and it's not that you don't deserve to have somebody come for you but I feel like right now the universe is trying to show you how powerful you can be to rise up to the best version of yourself. I've got there's a lot of twists and turns along the way. Uh, you know, there might have been a lot of paths your heart might have had to go on. But with the owl there is potential for wisdom and i'm getting like there's a sad face and there's a kind of crooked smile face so i feel like you know especially when you've dealt with things that are unhealthy you know you're not always happy um and that's that's okay but it is about walking away what uh, from what doesn't fulfill you and being uh being this caring loving person but also realizing that you're in charge and you're just not on the receiving end of everything. Like you can be at cause for what happens. So with the not, I feel like you're trying to solve a problem. I was thinking like the, the Gordian knot. And with the nine, it's like there's really an ability for... The nine is the very end of a cycle. It's also three times three. And of course, threes are very significant. 
with the pound side and I feel like right now I feel like the best decision for you is to well be confident because you have what it takes to back whatever whatever up whatever decision you have what it takes but I feel like you need to be the most empowered version of yourself and not allow yourself to be the most disempowered um, you may get some kind of information that might get you some clarity and unfortunately you may get some information regarding um, some kind of not particularly uh, you may get information about something that's sneaky so key I with the key I also there's 33 on the bottom of the card so again three is being significant maybe three is significant to you in particular um, especially since the Empress who came out twice is a three card so I feel like you need to, to keep in mind, like, be this loving person, but realize that you have a new beginning. You have a new beginning in which you can have victory. You may have to face some kind of truth, though, um, that, you know, and you may have to deal with your own conflicts or the conflicts of others but sometimes those conflicts of others will be there so that you can see if you are in an unhealthy situation or so but you're going to really have the opportunity to let go of things that may have limited you in the past and as the empress really not much is going to be able to limit you but you do need to walk away from what doesn't fulfill you so I, I feel like if you just concentrate on balance don't you know and don't just if you know something's unhealthy for you give yourself some time to like let yourself have a new start because it's just not going to be worth the time and energy you put into it. So I really hope that this helps you. Thank you so much. And again, for everybody who helped me get to 7,000 subscribers, I am so grateful. I think I marked my chin, so that's amazing. Uh, I am going to do another one at 8,000 subscribers. So if you didn't win, uh, I will be here and you'll have another option. <laughs> so just make sure you are subscribed and you do comment and you're in the running for that one. I want to say just thank you. And if you do want to do personal readings with me, my email's in the description right below the timestamps. I do not try to solicit you in the comments. I don't uh, have a WhatsApp. So that email in the description is the only way to contact me. So uh, I, I check it all the time. I will absolutely follow up with you. And I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you so much. So it's time for pile number two. My gorgeous angels. Advice for the next seven days. The devil. Advice for the next seven days for the gorgeous pile two. I feel like you're going to be having to put energy and effort Possibly to overcome something that has been limiting you in some way. You should know that you will have the ability, you will have the strength to overcome this. But you may not be dealing with things that are particularly pleasant. Um, you might be dealing with a difficult ending, maybe regarding, you know, something that was unhealthy. I mean, ultimately, know that you will have what it takes to overcome, but it doesn't mean that you will have, uh, that it's a completely enjoyable process. Clarity on that 10. All right. 
you may be dealing with a difficult ending, um, but what it is going to bring you is greater stability. So you may have something that ended, but in the long term, it is going to bring you greater stability, bring you greater worth and self-respect. This may have been a situation which, you know, was a negative cycle. So the end of it, as painful as it was, is, is going to ultimately bring you more into self Clarity on the devil. Yeah, I feel like with the Queen of Swords, it seems like you're really willing to either uh, stop something that is, hasn't been healthy for you. Uh, and you're, again, I feel like the universe does want me to mention how very strong you are. Uh, even though at this point you might not be feeling strong because I definitely feel some hurt here. Are you the king of cups? What? Because for some of you, you might be leaving behind somebody that you know, maybe had poor intentions, uh, you know, who may have betrayed your trust. Um, but what I see is somebody coming in. Um, it's like by, by setting a boundary against um, whatever this limitation was, whatever this pain was and it you know between the devil and the ten of swords it's what doesn't seem like a good time but i feel like you are bringing in somebody that really is going to whether it be romantically or friendship wise i feel like you're going to be bringing in somebody that is very caring um is somebody that really will um prioritize the relationships in their life. Somebody that does have a really kind heart. So I feel like there's actually somebody coming in to your life, but I feel like there has been a death and a, maybe not a real, uh, for some of you, it's quite possible. Uh, but I think that for most of you, I feel like some kind of situation has ended and that situation you know, may have been addictive or or intense, but maybe not healthy. But there is this work, there is this transformation, there is this ability to overcome, there is this coming into um, self-worth and um, stability within self. So I feel like right now, this week, this next seven days, you're going through the hard work of transformation. And it's coming about because you're dealing with a painful end to something. Is this about waiting? I feel like we've got seven, eight, and nine of pentacles that are out on the table. I feel like you may not see what's going to grow for you yet. You may not see the abundance that is coming your way, but there may be an end to something, but there's a seed being planted. There's work that's being done, and it is going to lead to greater stability. Lovers. It's also going to potentially lead to a spiritual connection between you and somebody that is very caring. You and somebody that, you know, will, you know, prioritize you. And again, this, for some of you, this may be a platonic situation, somebody that is a true friend. For some of you, you might be bringing in 
um, some kind of soulmate, but you're bringing in somebody that instead of a negative dark cycle, you are bringing in somebody that is aligned with you in a higher spiritual sense where you still have that passion, but it is healthy. It's like for if if you were dealing with something like, you know, dark, addictive, painful, I feel like you're going to see the light side of that. But whatever this was needed to end. So and you yourself did need to make some kind of transformation. Um, so the seeds could be planted to build yourself up to this strong, confident person that is going to bring in this particular, um, the people who can really, truly be a support to you. Versus the people who take a lot from you. Advice for the next seven days for the gorgeous pile number two. I feel like you may have had ideas or thoughts that have kept you trapped. I'm almost getting like I haven't had a tower yet. But I feel like the tower may have already happened. Because I've got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords. I feel like there was these thoughts that were keeping you in place, keeping you stuck. This is an energy of being stuck. This is an energy of being stuck. But I feel like there is some kind of, there's an end to that. This is an end, an end. I'm sorry, an end and an end. So I feel like you may not be at a point where you can yet appreciate that the painful ending that you may have dealt with is bringing you more stability, is bringing you more happiness, is bringing, you know, better people into your life. Um, but there's an ability to take off that blindfold and realize that you're not really stuck. I feel like with the with the page of swords, are you looking at something? Are you observing something? I feel like there almost like there's a need to speak truth. Um Knight of Cups. I f it it does seem like you are going to get an offer of affection or love, um, that this is something that is meant to be on your path. I feel like you do need to, why, I'm going to get a clarity on that. Yeah. Well, that's about, uh, that answers the question. It's like with this page of swords, the page of swords is the truth, but it may not be particularly, it may not be particularly palatable truth. But with the ace of swords, like any blindfold, you know, like any limitation, like you're going to have the ability to, 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 Tear that blindfold off and you may have to deal with truth, but it's only bringing you to better. It's only bringing, planting the seeds that will grow for you, that will bring you into this confident, happy place, that will bring the right people to you, that will lead to love for you. That will take you out of this place of stagnation and being stuck into some place where you are building something, where you are creating mastery in your life. Advice for the next seven days. New chapter. You're dealing with ends, but they're only for your new beginnings. These new beginnings that are a turn of the wheel of fortune for you. So, some of you are going to face losing things 
Um, but they're going to be things that haven't been healthy for you. Mean what you say and say what you mean. It really is that simple. That's exactly, there couldn't be a more Ace of Swords kind of card. And again, if somebody is playing games with you, if, if you're in some kind of toxic situation, it's really that simple. Don't let the stress win. Yeah, I definitely get that you may be dealing with a lot of stress, especially since there has been a really difficult ending for you. There has been this, um, some kind of not healthy thing in your life. But really, it's, if it doesn't, if, if a person isn't saying what they mean, and meaning what they say, if if your job, you know, like you're going to get some clarity that so that you can have this new beginning, that you can turn the wheel of fortune in your favor. So don't let the stress win, because quite frankly, that's the only thing that will keep you from winning, because you just you're going to have the ability Clover again. You may be dealing with the loss of things. You may be dealing with a betrayal. Uh, but ultimately, things are moving in your favor. Because, yeah, and the Rider. Rider is also a good luck card. But it's also a beginning card. This is the first uh, card in the Lenormand deck. It's about making that step moving forward. Brand new beginnings. I feel like there... And at the end... With the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords, the end of a difficult cycle, and a brand new beginning with more knowledge and clarity. So I think that you are definitely dealing with something difficult, definitely dealing with something hurtful. Uh, it does, yeah, but you're going to get some real clarity. And that clarity is going to move the wheel of fortune in your favor. That clarity is going to start you on a new path towards happiness. I feel like whatever leaves you right now is only leaving you because it's not healthy for you. With the... I get the impression that you might be pretending to be okay um, when things might really not have been okay. I feel like, you know, the universe wants to give you a hug. <laughs> I feel like I want to give you a hug. I, it, what you're dealing with seems to be painful. I've also got the malformed connection and the dragon. The dragon, if there's a malformed connection, you know, the dragon can be very possessive. So can the devil can be obsessive, it can be greedy, so I feel like you may have to check, you know, the connections that you do have to see if these things are for your best and highest good. I do, however, see um, a beneficial and beautiful connection coming in for you. I've got the uh, crooked smile and the happy face with the eyes, actually. You may be just pretending to be all right right now, but you you know, you may have some kind of wry uh, way you're dealing with things. Um, but ultimately, this is going to lead to greater happiness for you. You're just not in, you're just not in the most happy state yet, but... You know, realize that you're, it, it, again, you're not stuck. In fact, if, if with this Ten of Swords, these are, the Ten of Swords is here to unstick you. It's just kind of brutal in the way it does. Love. 
I've, you're definitely bringing in some kind of loving connection. Um, you're either bringing in some kind of soul family or some kind of soul mate. Somebody that really will bring this love, will show you that they care about you, will, you know, actually be a good and healthy relationship for you. Um, I've also got the hashtag. Why is the hashtag there? Because obviously, internet, uh, queen of wands. With hashtag queen of wands, I kind of feel like there's, there's a need to forge ahead. Um, there's a uh, queen of, of wands is very um, confident, very willing to move forward, willing to take charge of their own life. So I feel like concentrating on energies like that is going to be really helpful for you right now. So I hope this helped. <laughs> you do want a free reading. I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 8,000 subscribers. I want to say thank you so much for everybody who helped me get to 7,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. I deeply appreciate you. Uh, I am doing... Uh, so I have posted the winners for the 7,000 subscribers. So make sure that you go to uh, the community tab so that you see who that is and I deeply appreciate you I'm going to do another one at 8,000 subs and if you do want to book with me my email is in the description I'm not going to try to solicit you so if that happens in the comments it's absolutely not me just use that email that's right below the timestamps I will take care of you right now my readings are only about 48 hours out so thank you so much my gorgeous darlings and it's time for pile number three Pile number three, advice for the next seven days. Three of Cups, High Priestess, Two of Swords, The Hanged Man, interesting. The Two of Swords and The Hanged Man kind of implies that you might be having trouble making some kind of decision. The Three of Cups and the High Priestess. Um, with the High Priestess, you're definitely, there is some kind of inner knowing going on. There is something that deep down that you know. You may not know why you know. You may not be able to fully justify why you know, but deep down you know in your bones. Like, deep down, you really know. And I've got um, the Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups can be celebration. It can be hanging out with friends. It can be um, too many people in a situation. Oh, it could be too many people in a situation. But I feel like deep down, you already know. But there's some kind of stagnation here. And I feel like this inner knowledge will help free you. So, are you paying attention to what's important? Because this is a perspective change. This is like deep down what you know. And this is somewhat frivolous. And there's, you know, sometimes you do need to relax. Sometimes you do need to deal you know have something not serious going on it, it, that's all that's all part of balance but is it balanced because if it's not I feel like you really need to go with your inner knowing and that inner knowing may not completely jibe with you logically I mean, you know it's true. It is true. But I feel like maybe you're having trouble finding the ability to take action on it because you you can't justify 
that it's true. King of Hearts. Uh, for a lot of people in this pile, you may be trying to solve an emotional problem um, by taking the emotions out of the problem. Uh, there is nothing wrong with being logical. There is nothing wrong with, you know, being more head focused. Um, but the solution to this problem is going to be in your emotional space. And if and this uh, this need to justify it to yourself is kind of a thinly veiled way of just avoiding what you know what you already know. So right now, you're getting a chance to reprioritize and, and get a different perspective. So, uh, and you're definitely being asked to follow your feelings because your feelings are going to lead you to the truth. But I feel like there may have been distractions, and whatever these distractions are, um, those distractions are leading to heartbreak. I'm getting that there is, it's like there is something that you know, there is something that, you know, you need to flip your perspective on and not taking things serious is going to lead to heartbreak. It's going to lead to hurt. I'm getting you can only win if you take action. Um, and you need to take action on that flipped, that changed perspective, that, so there's something that deep down you know that you need to take action on. That action is going to bring you success and you paying attention to less serious things is leading to heartbreak. Clarity on, should I take this, the, the page of swords came out. But I felt like I needed to. So, um, you're, if you're not doing something about what you know you need to be doing something about, um, you're sabotaging yourself. And I think that it's interesting with the Two of Swords and the Three of Swords, those make up the Five of Swords. Like usually the, the, there are the characters holding two swords and there are three swords on the ground. And nobody wants to deal um, with that person because it's not... I'm not saying nobody wants to deal with you, but it's, it's, it's an energy that doesn't bring about the desired outcome. I mean, does, uh, I, I feel like you need to think about if you're sabotaging yourself, if maybe a lack of choice on your part might be causing heartbreak probably to you and somebody else. Because the solution right here is go with what you deep down you know to be true. Be willing to flip your perspective and take action on it and go with feeling. I, I'm getting like you're being strongly pushed to take action to, you know, take action on what you know 
Because what you deep down instinctively know, that's the right answer. Advice for the next seven days. Yeah, I, I feel like there's a need to get some clarity. Um, just because there are other choices doesn't mean all of those choices are going to give you the same result, you know? <laughs> and you also can't just not make a choice. Not making a choice is a choice. And in this case, I feel like not making a choice... Uh, leads to heartbreak, whether to you or somebody else. Advice for the next seven days. So we have the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, it's like this is a lack of clarity, this is a lack of clarity. This is an ability to find clarity through being willing to see something differently. And this is a wounded warrior. This is somebody, I mean, it can be stubbornness, but I think that you're being asked for the next seven days to, to ask yourself, are you happy with the choices that you have made. And if there and if for some reason you're not realize that you can have success, that there are good choices, there are good solutions for you. With uh we've got 9 and 9, so 9 of swords. 9 is also the end of a cycle, but I feel like you you need to I feel like your headspace is causing there to be a lot of confusion for you. Because I feel like you already know the answer in your heart. And it is the answer. But there's this fear. There's this anxiety. And there's an ability to just have clarity to lift this off your shoulders it's like what you know to be true is going to be a blessing for you there's a reason why you know it's true but somehow you're still confused because of your fear Maybe because uh, maybe you have a fear of being hurt. But it's like there is a need to prioritize. There may be a need to prioritize somebody specific in your life that you know brings a lot of value to your life. Or there may be a need for you to really follow what you deep down know you should do so you're not sabotaging yourself so you can make yourself this best version of self but i you do it does look like you need to shift your perspective it does look like you do need to find some mental clarity but this is one of the clearest cards in the deck this is a card of inner knowing i feel like there's something you know and there's something that you fear And what you know is true and what you're fearing is just keeping you trapped. And I'm getting that you may need to emotionally walk away from your fears. Because there, your fear isn't giving you any clarity. Advice for the next seven days. And, it, and the funny thing is, like, you already know what you need to do. So I feel like you're, the universe is asking you to wake up. 
And if you're just living in your fears and focusing on things that don't matter, you're not fully awakened. You're not fully getting the gifts and the happiness that you will have. This is happiness and this is a lot more happiness. Don't be a jerk. Again, some kind of inaction might be really hurting somebody. So, or not taking something as seriously that you should be taking seriously might be hurting somebody. And it might even be something you know you need to do. So this is the universe's time to say, wake up. And if you're not being the person you should be, modify your behavior. Because this is what you're capable of. Are you doing what you're capable of? And we're all human beings, you know, no matter how spiritual, no matter, uh, you know, like we all have areas where we could do better. But I feel like there is something that could be causing real heartbreak. And I feel like there is an ability to do better, to have happier, to just not live in fear have that awakening and you know and when we live out of fear we don't always act in the best way we possibly could be bigger and better than your situation you have this ability to overcome both this situation yeah there i feel like there's not anything that's holding you back except for fear and the fear as far as i can tell is an illusion it's not that there aren't things to be afraid of in this world, but sometimes we're living in fear regarding things that we're not even dealing with right now. Advice for the next seven days for the gorgeous pile number three. Anchor. And the nine of swords. I feel like you are going to have to figure out how to anchor yourself kind of because there's the fear and worry and anxiety and that doesn't always put you in reality. It puts you in this state of what if. But I feel like there's a need to anchor yourself to the ground a little bit. Maybe really make a choice. Because um, there is going to be healing here. For some of you, you may receive some sort of redemption. Seven of Cups, but healing, also know that healing this anxiety is going to give you clarity. It's going to bring these blessings close to you. And it is going to be able to uh, give you the ability to pay attention to your intuition which may be being drowned out by your fear. Advice for the next seven days. The tree came out again. Oh, and yeah, there's stuff going on below the surface. So the universe wants you to calm down, tell, uh, get some healing done. This is the calm one. That there's... There may be a need to deal with what's going on below the surface. There's something emotional that needs to be dealt with. Again, this, this solution is not necessarily is not necessarily going to come from your rational thoughts. It's it's like the solution to this problem is an emotional problem and it does need to be solved with emotions. But there's healing here. Healing, healing. Um, also, some of you might be dealing with um, some uh, somebody that you may have, um, like this person may be soul family to you in some way. They may be a pretty significant part of your soul path. Um soft heart i've also got daughter 
So some of you, this could be your inner child. Others, uh, maybe this has to do with a child of yours or a child that you may have in the future. This may be a blessing that was meant to be in your life, but you would have to make a decision. You do, you know, like you do need to see clearly. You will have to take action. Um, but soft heart and uh, lots of twists and turns. So there is possible that you're dealing with somebody that you may have a lot of twists and turns with that maybe this person has been part of your life for a long time. Um, because I do feel like some of you, um, there may be somebody who's really been there for you that you also need to be there for them. Um, but for others of you, you've had a lot of twists and turns in your life. But right now, the the solution is the soft solution. The solution is the kind solution. I feel sadness here. But there's a need to speak. There is a need to communicate. Um, I've got believe. This might require you to believe something, to awaken it might be something that is on a spiritual level for you. And I've got the wolf. Now the wolf could be an enemy, oh, but the wolf could also be extremely loyal. So I feel like There's an ability to get perspective, to get out of fear, to wake up and really bring blessings into your life. And either somebody that is, you know, just this amazing person for you or bringing in the best version of yourself, but it's all with healing and it's all with knowing, with following that deep down knowing that you already have. And making sure that you're acting how you would want to be treated. Because you're being asked to be bigger and better than your situation. You may be asked to choose what kind of person you're, you are. Are you making the choices that make you this loyal pe person to the person people who are loyal to you? Or are you letting your fear get in the way to the extent that you might not be maybe taking care of what you need to take care of because you're so distracted with things that may not be as important. I've also got hashtag Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords and hashtags. Some of you may need to limit the amount of energy and effort you're putting online. Um, or it's not that you need to not be online, but it is about having boundaries. So you may need to have uh, boundaries regarding it. Uh, there may be people that you know, just having clear boundaries uh, when it has to do with online, whether it's what you share, it's what you watch, it's what you putting in your mind. I feel like there is a need to do that. So I hope that this helped you. Thank you so much. I deeply appreciate you. Thank you to everybody who helped me get to 7,000 subscribers. I am so grateful. I have put up the winners on the community uh, page. <laughs> so uh, make sure you check that. If you have one, make sure you email me. My email's in the description. It's also on that post. Uh, if you do want to book with me, my email is in the description. I'm not going to solicit anybody in the comments. I do not have a WhatsApp. If either of those things happens, it's absolutely not me. If you want to contact me, again, email in the description. You will be talking to me. I'm the only one who can edit that. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you so much. I deeply appreciate you. And if you want another chance, I'm going to do another giveaway 
uh, at 8,000 subscribers. So be subscribed and comment and you're in the running for that. So my gorgeous angels, it's time for pile number four. Oh, <laughs> pile number four, my angels. Advice for the next seven days. You are really going to have an opportunity to be creating a lot of abundance in your life. A lot of stability. Um, maybe there will be something to do with family connections. You might have something to do with family connections. But whatever it is, it's going to be something stabilizing. It's going to be something healthy. Um... I get that right now you may not fully be clearly seeing what's ahead of you. Um, I think that uh, there's, uh, for the next seven days, you need to be embracing your inner badass instead of your inner fears because your inner fears aren't even correct. There's nothing in front of you right now that you can't overcome. But you could certainly do some things to self-limit you. But right now it's like overcome, overcome, ba you know, badass moving towards, as a lot of you might be really moving towards a financial abundance. Some of you might be moving towards a really stable relationship. And if you are, it's happening because you are this confident, you are this person, a uh, confident person. You are this person that overcomes everything in front of you. You are this person that has ideas, that moves forwards on them, that takes actions. So you either might be bringing in a relationship that is... Um, worthy of the person that you are or you're up leveling abundance in your life but why I feel like you do still have some self-limiting beliefs it's it's not anything that you can't overcome I feel like I feel like you've probably overcome so many things that if you just even just take a second to think about what, anything that you've overcome, you know, you'll realize that anything in front of you is by comparison easy. Just realize that you're not trapped in any way. In fact, you're about to just dominate things, you know, win strength, queen of wands, which is action queen going from happy by yourself and independent to really up, uh, up up leveling your abundance and stability and success king of swords yes yeah, somebody uh some of you might be really bringing in somebody that is highly intelligent I've also got air and fire. There's inspiration and intelligence. So you might have the intelligence to do something and the inspiration to do it, but sometimes some of you might be bringing in somebody that maybe have specific knowledge that is going to help some idea come together. Or either that or you might be manifesting in a very intelligent um romantic person but some of you are maybe bringing in just the right person with the right information to up level you to another level of success advice for the next seven days I think there's a need to focus there are a lot of opportunities out there but again there's this you're going to have this ability for a new beginning in clarity. So 
I'm getting like don't waste it and certainly don't I feel like you're really just being asked to know that you've already got this. You've already got this. And you are going to get an offer, and it's going to be an offer that you should take. You shouldn't limit yourself. Um, Five of Pentacles. I've... I feel like you might not be taking all the, cho you know, all the opportunities that are available because you have this fear of loss. You might have experienced poverty. You're moving into the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like this is one of those things where you might be limiting yourself. Just because you have dealt with loss doesn't mean you're always going to deal with loss. It does mean you need to open yourself to the opportunities in front of you. Because I'm getting that there's this fear of loss, this fear of being uh, left out in the cold, this fear of not having your needs met. And some of you are really independent. And you may have been really independent by necessity because who else was going to do anything for you? You were the only person who was going to do that. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't take the right advice and when it comes. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't take a really good opportunity when it comes. Just because you have dealt with, you know, poor things in the past, if you since you've dealt with a lack in the past. That doesn't mean, that doesn't have anything to do, anything to do with the abundance that you're bringing in. You've done so much to stabilize yourself. You've really taken control of your life. You are able to make whatever you want to make happen. But now you need to allow the abundance to come in and not be so afraid of loss that you don't take the offer that you should take. So you are going to either, you're going to, some of you are going to receive an offer of love. And maybe you have felt lack in love. Maybe it has not been particularly, maybe it has made you, you know, not sure about making any kind of decision there. But I feel like you're going to receive an emotionally satisfying offer. Something that's going to lead to abundance for you. So don't limit yourself from taking, you know, just because you may have had bad breaks in the past doesn't mean you should take, keep yourself from taking the abundance that is, that is going to be offered to you. Some of you, it's going to be abundance in love. Others, it's going to be a abundance in money. Um, but you need to realize that um, just... And, and while there's nothing wrong with being selective, there is, it's not helpful to be self-limiting. Start over every day if you want. Again, what your future doesn't need to look anything like your past. You have done so much to be this person that has taken control of your life, this person that has overcome the things in your life. And you have. And you're bringing in better things. Be willing to start over. Be willing to realize that good things can come to you. Stay active. Get, uh, get active. Stay active. Trust me. I'm getting that right now you're really supposed to be taking action. You're really supposed to be taking opportunities. You're uh, Realize that you're you're not limited you're just deciding how abundant you're going to be walk your truth again all these cards of being a badass all these cards of building yourself up and then walking your truth
you're bringing in this abundance, this success. I mean, if you've overcome already overcome everything in your way, why won't you overcome the next thing? And yes, you may have dealt with loss, but sometimes we deal with loss to become stronger. That doesn't mean that where you're going is loss. Where you're going is abundance, big abundance. Um, I feel like some of you might be dealing with a little bit of apathy right now. I've got great. No, but actually some of you are really having the opportunity to be great. Well, some of you might have some kind of relationship with uh, the United Kingdom. So I've got the heart uh, with the flag, the double-deckered bus. The double-deckered bus is also about moving forward. But I'm also getting, because it's, it's where a lot of people move forward. So the success that you create is going to help more than just yourself. I feel like the abundance that you're creating, you know, like it's it's more than about helping yourself. It's going to help other people move forward. With the heart, of course, there is love, um, wish fulfillment, and larger wish fulfillment than you ever expected. So I feel like... Yes, maybe you do need to make sure that you do some common sense things to, you know, not particularly make yourself available to loss. But what you should be doing is really actively working towards success because what you, um, it's like whatever your dreams are, what you're going to succeed at is going to be so much bigger than that. Anchor. You're being able to anchor something really, really significant, very long term, potentially some kind of legacy, you know, something that will live on past you. I've got the wolf. The wolf is, of course, a very powerful animal. Uh, the wolf can be a very loyal uh, animal. The, uh, the wolf is also ferocious so and you you definitely have ferocity I feel like you're definitely able to put that ferocity in check but it is part of your power as well I've got seven seven is about raising yourself up in a spiritual kind of way I've got V that could be for victory or an initial I've got a really big grin I feel like you don't know how happy you're going to be. And I don't know if all of this is going to happen in seven days, but your ability to work this, their, your ability, like, I feel like you're definitely going to get offers that is going to move you in this direction. And you have to be able to see um, your way through it. Because... Success, awesome success, um, just don't limit yourself because the universe isn't. The universe is saying walk your truth, that your success is going to lead to other people's successes. That, And your success is, is about you being in alignment with where you are meant to be. Like it is about taking on the purpose that you are meant to take on. Um, I've got, uh, with the shell, there's beauty. There's also shells often aligned to the Fibonacci sequence and like that golden, like there, there's, there's some kind of golden, maybe opportunity. There's some kind of golden ratio. Like, I feel like don't, 
I'm just getting like there's nothing in front of you that you won't be able to overcome. Just don't limit yourself. Don't and realize that maybe not every opportunity that you've had has been great, but like you're going to be offered a perfect opportunity and you need to be willing to take it. With the mask, I don't you may not be very comfortable sharing with people how you feel. And again, I think a lot of you have become very strong because you had to be. Um, but this, uh, but I feel like there's a need to, at some point, make sure that you're letting people know who you are because this is going to be a key to your abundance with that Ace of Pentacles. I've also got Sister Hermana. There's... And again, the Ten of Pentacles can be a family card too. There may be a need to concentrate on somebody in your family. Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's so, maybe somebody, but I don't know if... Because Ten of Wands can be a burden. This, this person in your might may have some kind of really serious burden right now. And again, so I'm getting like your success is going to help a lot of people. So some of that people may be your own family. <laughs> so I hope that this helps. I deeply appreciate you. Again, thank you for everybody who got me to 7,000 subscribers. I am so incredibly grateful. Um, you guys are awesome. I am going to do another giveaway at 8,000 subscribers. So be subscribed and comment. Um, the winners are going to be on the community tab. So just go under subscriptions. It should be posted there. Uh, and I'm just, I'm so grateful to all of you. You've been so wonderful. Uh, and thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, if you do want to book with me, my email's in the description right below the timestamps. I'm not going to solicit you. I don't have a WhatsApp. If, if that happens, it's not me. But if you email me, that actually will be me. I'll send, uh, I'll send you anything that you need to know so that we can keep our community safe. Thank you.